Slot six forty two for Lauderdale. Pretzel. Two please. Well guys, we are finally in the Everglades and today we're going to be looking for whatever we can find out here. We've got a few very specific targets. We're hoping to find a Burmese python, a diamondback. There's a whole stack of different wildlife that can be found out here. And this is my first time here, so this is kind of an experiment. Let's go. South Florida is home to an incredible amount of plant and animal species that I've never gotten a chance to see. The environment may seem similar to Louisiana at first glance, but these marshes are totally different from what I'm used to. Alright guys, this is the first thing that we're getting to see in the park. These lava grasshoppers. I'm going to get a real pretty one here. They're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. This is prime time for these guys. Have a look at that. Bright yellow, totally different from the Texas lobbers we have back home. Evening is a good time to search for wildlife, especially rattlesnakes. While we did see some animals out and about, most reptiles I'm here to see will be most active at night. So basically our goal tonight is to see how many snakes we can get out here. There's a whole stack of different species, a lot of common varieties, a lot of rare ones, and lots I've definitely never found, and plenty that we've never filmed before. So this should be pretty special. Let's just keep driving and see what we can find. Yes, 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 this is great. Corn! Beautiful! Look at you! How you doing, little buddy? Turn my light off here. Have a look at that! Yes! That is a little corn snake. Oh, it's okay, bud. It's just a little guy. These are very, very cool species. These are one of my favorite snakes. One of the friendliest snakes around normally. Sometimes they can be a bit bitey here in Florida. But this one, perfectly, perfectly nice. Smallest one that I've ever actually caught. Now back home, this is actually a pretty uncommon species for me. Around Louisiana and Mississippi, you don't see many corn snakes. But here in South Florida, this is a very common species. And it's really cool to see them in the wild like this. And they have a much brighter coloration here than they do back in Louisiana. Hello little buddy. This is a small one. They get much bigger than this. They can reach lengths of five, five and a half. And some massive cases can reach six foot, although that's extremely rare. Corn snakes, in my opinion, are one of the best pet snakes you can get. However, when you find them in the wild like this, it's much better to get a captive one. I've actually bred them before. I've got a pair, and they're very easy to breed. People breed them all the time. There's all kinds of morphs of this snake. The morphs are kind of cool, but my favorites are these, the natural colored corns. And they're much brighter down here in South Florida, so this is really cool to see. Really cool little guy, and we're going to go ahead and get him off the road. All right, see you, little buddy. Get off the road. There's a lot of people back here. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, get back in there. While the environment is totally unique, I'm pretty experienced with the snake species in this area because many of the same snakes can be found in Louisiana, especially Florida's most common venomous snake. Yo, our first moccasin. Check this out. That is our first Florida moccasin right there. Don't go nowhere, bud. Whoa, it's okay. It's all right, have a look at this snake. Now you can tell, they look quite a bit different. Ooh. It's all right, I need you to stay in the road, just for a minute. Now Florida moccasins look a bit different than ours in Louisiana. They're a completely different subspecies. These snakes get a lot bigger, he's got much cleaner pattern, they've got a narrower head. There's a bunch of differences between these snakes and they're also a bit more sluggish on land. This snake definitely could put a lot of venom in you. Cotton mouths can be dangerous, they are a dangerous snake. Hello. 
Notice how he's very whippy on land. He's very whippy. Cottonmouths are a very whippy snake in general, but the ones here in Florida are very sluggish on land. And that's because they're very used to the slow moving water. That's how they spend their entire day. So on land, they're just terrible at moving around. Florida moccasins are really interesting. I hope we find a bigger one. They definitely have some really cool colorations here, but for now, we're just gonna let this guy on his way. Right now is peak reptile hour. There's gonna be a whole stack of snakes on the road this time of night, so we gotta move quick. While most of the snakes we'll see will be the more common aquatic species, this is the best time to see some of my favorite snakes. Where are you, the green? Oh no, it's a decay snake. Uh, uh, little bugger. It's a decay snake. I want, I'm gonna put this down, because uh, we've shown decay snakes in the past. I'll link the video. This one's actually grabbing. But there's another snake right there that's starting to move. And I wanna see what it is. Green. Have a look at this. This is a Florida green snake. This road is absolutely crawling with these little guys. Ah, oh, yes, you're putting on a big bluff. But they are not as aggressive as some of the other water snakes. These still will bite me, though. Look at him. Hooding up. Cute little guy. Florida green water snakes look quite different from the ones back home. The Florida green is different from the Mississippi green in that it has a lot more patterning. And uh, overall, the temperament is quite a bit better. Although you can see he's kind of flaring his neck up, trying to look like something else, trying to look bigger. Look at that little guy. He's beautiful. This is probably the most common snake species out here. Oh, it's okay. This road absolutely crawls with them. It's hard to, hard to miss them, basically, with the car, because they're just everywhere. This is a medium-sized one, probably a yearling, last year's baby. But right now, some babies are being born. So uh, it's a really cool snake to see. But we're gonna go ahead and put him down and keep looking. All right, see you, little greenie. Back off you get. Go on, get off the road. All right, we got two snakes right here. I think that's a little green, but this is something cool. This is something I wanna show you guys. I think if I'm right about this, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, have a look at that snake. Oh, it's okay. Oh, don't bite me. If I'm right about this, I think that this is a mix. And what I mean by that is, this is a mix between a Florida water snake and a salt marsh snake. I think, is that a little green snake? Yeah, a little green snake's just hanging out over there. I just wanted to make sure it was a green. Now this is about as big as this snake will get. Can get a bump bigger, but this is an adult. But this is actually a mix of two different water snake species. The salt marsh snake and the Florida water snake. This is really interesting. This is the first time I've seen this. I've heard of it plenty of times. It's a very aggressive snake species. He will chomp you. In fact, as you can see from earlier, we weren't filming, but I got chomped by one earlier on my hand right there. But they have a really faded banding, and the way you can tell, they've got this really cool belly pattern, similar to that of a marsh snake. Ah, darn mosquitoes, they're everywhere. It's got a little bump on his skin, little, it's got a little parasite on his skin, but not a rare snake by any means, but definitely something really unique to South Florida that you're not gonna see in many other places. Oh, it's okay, little buddy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this little guy go, but I just thought that was really special. Hello, little buddy. You are snake number. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Snake number 20. We have found 20 snakes tonight, mostly water snakes, of course, but this, this is actually a straight up Florida water snake. Oh, it's okay, no bite. <laughs> Been bit by a couple of different water snakes today. Little cutie, he's kind of skinny, little young guy, but this is not a mix. This is a straight up Florida water snake. Big head. And uh, he doesn't look like he's been doing too hot. He's very skinny. Very skinny. Well, hopefully he gets some food soon, but uh, we're going to get him off the road. No telling how many snakes we'll find tonight, because uh, literally this is number 20. So that's a pretty good night for snakes. All right, little sucker. Get off the road. There's snake hunters everywhere. We've passed 30. They're going to get you. Come on. Definitely a lot of stuff that you won't find in Louisiana. Uh, so it's a pretty interesting thing. Is that a snake? Yes, yes, yes. Is that corn? That's a big birdie corn. Hello, sweetie. What are you doing? This is insane. Have a look at that snake. Adult corn snake. Gorgeous thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you're angry. This one's not going to be friendly. This one will bite. This one will bite. This is a big, I'm guessing, female corn snake. This is so wild. Back home, this is such an uncommon snake to see. But these roads, they're a very common species. 
Look at that. Big female corn. And this one is not going to be as timid as the last one. If I mess up, she will try to bite me. See how she's kind of cocking her head back? She must on me the second I picked her up. This is more of the less typical attitude of corn snake, which is where they're much more like a normal rat snake. They will bite, but still an absolutely gorgeous snake. I do not catch these snakes often. I almost rarely get them. And that is insanely special for me. Have a look at, oh, it's okay, don't bite me. This is a average size adult. In fact, back home, I've got one about this size. Beautiful snake. Look at that shiny coloration. Now, corn snakes out here are gonna be eating a lot of lizards. They will eat rodents, but uh, they will mostly be eating lizards. Out on these roads at night, they'd mostly just be trying to heat up and then they'll go and hunt lizards and mice for the night. The snakes here are very aquatic. They spend a lot of time in the water, but oftentimes you can shine along the water and uh, see them up in the trees because they're also a very good climbing snake. This snake looks very healthy, although she's got a slight nub tail, which isn't uncommon for these snakes to have. Whether they spun it off or something bit it off, it's not super uncommon for that to happen. So, all right, well, we're going to go ahead and let this little snake go, but that is beautiful. Incredible to see. All right, say goodbye to Corny, baby. Big adult corn. And thank, thank you very much for not biting me. Go on, sweetie. That's incredible. Woohoo! Another snake. Beautiful. Well, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Spent a lot of time driving these roads to find snakes, so if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos from the Everglades. That's it for now, and we will see you guys next time.